Hello friend, today I want to show you how to use Mentimeter for the large number of students to give this one question. Uh, so we can use Mentimeter for that one. We can go in Google browser and in Google browser, you can just log in to the Mentimeter.com. Mentimeter login. You can simply join the Mentimeter login and then you can log in the Mentimeter with Men, uh, your Google account as well, or you can use some another account as well. So here I have logged in the Google account. Okay, so this is the screen for the Mentimeter. So here you can create the new presentation as well as if you have already there, then you can click the new folder or the uh, some other. So I have no any other folder so that I want to make the new presentation. And then for the presentation here, we can give the uh, selected topic over there. So I want to give you the topic demo. Okay, that's only the demo class. Uh, so let me create the presentation so my presentation have already created and the topic uh, just i gave the demo so here you can see the different varieties number of questions are here you can choose the multiple choice question uh word question uh, the scale ranking or you can also add some pictures as well so simply i will choose multiple choice question for now and then uh, if you want to add more slide then you can add uh, you can click the add slide but for now i'm just clicking one of the question i've already clicked the one question multiple choice and then here you can keep your one question so i want to keep your question one of the question okay here is my question for Mentimeter. This is my first question. What is the capital city of Nepal? And then for this question, we have to keep different options. So you can add your option as well. So option A, option A, and then similarly option B, similarly option C you can give. Okay, so if you want to add more options, uh, then you can uh, simply click the add button. Otherwise, you can leave with these three options for the multiple choice question. So this question is already ready. So if you want to present it for your student, then you can simply click the present button. Or if you want to add more question for them, then simply you can click the add slide and then you can make another question. So for that one also, you can select the another type as well again. So for now, I want to select the word cloud. Okay. In this question, your participants can give their one answer and then uh, no one sees that who gave what answer. So simply I will keep here one of the question. Okay. Okay. What is the height of Mount Everest? I keep this question over here. Okay, this is my question. And then here, entries per participants. That means one participants can entry only one answer. I can make it. Here are three or the, you can add more also, but I will make it here only one. That means one participants can entry only one answer. And then here, uh, extra. That means you can let the participants submit multiple times, but I can't do that one because only one participant can give only one answer. So this is my question for the Mentimeter. Now, when students need to give answer for my question, they need the code. So we should submit them code. Here, my code is 557676. Uh, this is the code for this question. So simply I can choose the question. If I select this question, then I can uh, click present and then they will see this question. Or if I want to show them this one question for first, then they can, uh, you can just simply click this one as well. And then we can present it. So if we present like this, then they can simply see the screen like this. And then this is the code for the student to give their answer. Uh, this is the tutorial just only for the teachers. That means anyone who can give question, they can use this one. But if you want to give answer now uh, for that one, you have to watch my next one video. So thank you for today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.